Over the past few years, there have been many stories of people claiming that they have traveled through time. And these stories are exciting and hard to be believed. But nonetheless, they are worth taking a look. And now, we have six people who claim to be time travelers. Hello everybody, let's travel through our video. The first story was in 2002 when the French priest François Bon wrote a book entitled The New Secret of Vatican, in which he tells the story of the priest and the Italian scientist Palgrino Olnate. He says that he invented a machine called the Corona Pfizer capable of capturing the terminal effects of the frequencies of past events and replaying them in the present. Thus, you can see any event was in the past by this machine. And it's mentioned in the book that Balgrino Olnate himself used it and saw a number of historical events. The most important of which was the crucifixion of Christ. Despite that, many questioned the credibility of that story. Some of them said that it was completely fabricated and some of them saw the inability of this machine to retrieve the past. But it's already in the Vatican and they are still using it today. May it give them a power that we don't know. The second story was in 1920 when a Swiss teacher named Pauline Delop fell into a coma for a year and when he woke up he started writing blogs that he hid from everyone until he chose one of his students to show him. Those blocks were some separate stories. The most important was that he said, while he was in the coma, woke up in the year 3906 in the body of a famous physicist named Andrew Norton. Hence, Bondilop began to narrate what he saw in the future. He said that we will be able to conquer Mars and live on it. But a natural disaster will occur after that. That will cause the death of 20 million people. In addition to the outbreak of the Third World War. Which will be devastating to the planet and will eliminate most of humanity. But in the end, the surviving countries will agree to form a global union. And that union will succeed in greatly improving the conditions of humanity. Surprisingly, Bondilop told this story in the smallest details and was a firm believer in everything he told. And most importantly, that he didn't brag or try to show these blocks to people. No one was allowed to read them, except the student only. But the matter was leaked to the school magazine and published it immediately. So, did that man really travel to the future and so what he told us? The third story was in 2013, when a YouTube channel, The Time Authority, uploaded a video of an interview with a person who claimed to come from the future from the 30th century and said that he traveled to our time by car, which is one of the many ways to travel through time in the 30th century. According to what he said, he added that the monetary system will collapse soon and the money will disappear and will not be dealt with again. This person in the interview seemed very modest and rational, which made the video able to convince thousands of viewers. But despite that, it's not possible to verify the correctness of what he said. Story 4 was in 2013, when a programmer living in Taiwan, called Dave Hill, received a number of strange messages in the junk mail through his email. The messages were from a person named Popwell, who was offering $5,000 for those who bring him some strange items like a warp butter and a time-shifting capacitor. Dave Hill notes those messages 
and they caught his attention. He told Bobwer that he could bring it to him. And he brought an old motor and sent it to him as a war motor, as a joke, as he imagined. But he surprised when Bobwer thanked him for his effort and asked him to bring more items. And here, Dave Hill stopped joking after he saw Bob were serious in what he says. But what turned out after that, that Bob Ware was a young man in his 20s and his real name is Robert J. Todino. And he was actually trying to travel through time and has sent millions of random emails about it. But after a while, it was relieved that Robert J. Todino suffers from some mental illness. Fifth story was in 2017 when a YouTube channel called Apex TV conducted interviews with people who claim to be from the future. Among these people was a young man named Noah. In that video, he claimed that he came from the future from the year 2030 and became stuck in the present and mentioned some things about the future. The most important of them is that the technology of travel through time has already existed since 2003. But governments keep it as a secret and didn't announce it to the public until 2028. After that, the video channel started showing more videos of Noah in which he tries to prove the truth of what he said. Sometimes he was tested by polygraph and showed some strange objects as being from the future, such as some papers and maps of America in the future and the future nanotechnology applications. He also talked about the future of some countries such as Canada, India and the United States of America. Story 6 was for the man who proved that he had traveled to the year 6000 to take a picture from the future. He proved what he says with conclusive evidence. This man claimed he traveled through time and that he lived in the year 6000 and brought with him a picture as evidence of the future world that he saw there. He brought us some proofs through a video in which his face and voice appear blurred. According to what the man explained, he was part of a secret program of the government, so he was able to travel across the future. And in order to assure us of what he lived and so, this man across that world, he presented us a photograph, he claimed that he took it himself for one of the huge cities that he himself visited in the year 6000. But he said that he didn't want to reveal the name of the city and also those who live in the future don't want to disclose all the details of this future because it will harm them in the future. That's why he hid his face and distorted his voice through the video as a matter of secrecy and obscurity. He said that the mankind will be controlled by the artificial intelligence. Nuh added that in the future he came from, they discovered medicines that treat many diseases, including cancer, which spread widely in the second millennium years. The man said that people will shrink in size and there will be no problem with the spaces. He indicated that in the near future for us, it will become possible to travel through time all over the world and that it will be adopted in 2028 and anyone has enough money will be able to travel through time but there is also a possibility that his image was fabricated and fake designed by one of the photoshop professionals now write in the comments in your opinion can such stories be true or allegations in my opinion Despite the large number of those who claim to travel through time and brought pictures from that time they traveled to, and also all these incidents have no clear or decisive evidence, 
but this also doesn't prevent such a thing from happening in the near or distant future and we will release whether it's true or not.